Number 1. New Offense One of the most important things the Lakers needed this year was a new offense. With Kobe Bryant now gone and Luke Walton in as the new coach, in the preseason, Lakers fans hoped Luke would bring some of the Warriors' offense to the Lakers. Luke Walton showed just that with an offense sh focused on shooting, as seen here with many pick and rolls at the three-point line with D'Angelo Russell, and back cuts to get shooters open. Along with always pushing the break, this offense works perfectly for the young Lakers' backcourt. Number 2. Defense The Lakers still have real issues on defense. The Lakers are actually still horrible on defense and will have to outscore teams on the offensive end to win. D'Angelo Russell still struggles on the defensive end, getting caught on easy screens and getting beat to the rim with ease. While Clarkson has showed improved ability on defense, Brandon Ingram is also a problem. He is a rookie and also has trouble playing defense. With some of the best players playing the small forward position, the Lakers will be in the bottom of the league and defense. All the way to the basket, could have been a layup. It was a layup that he decided not to. Speaking of Brandon Ingram, that's our number three takeaway. Like I said earlier, Ingram struggles on the defensive end, but on the offensive end is where he can really make an impact with his athleticism. While I would like to see him get more involved during games and impact the game in more ways than just scoring. He has shown an ability to shoot the ball from deep, but can still be a streaky shooter right now. Liao Deng is the best option, both offensively and defensively at the three spot. But by midseason, if he plays well, he should crack the starting lineup. He knows until he's an old guy. The heist. Number four, Jordan Clarkson's shooting. During the offseason, a lot was said about if the Lakers can improve their shooting, especially Jordan Clarkson, who shot 35% from three last season and 43% from the field. In the preseason, Clarkson has been able to flourish in Luke Walton's new system and show he can lock down the shooting guard position, at least offensively. My goal for him is to average at least close to 20 points per game during this season. Number 5. The Strengths of Julius Randle He is most effective when he grabs the board and is looking to make a play to a teammate or himself as a break starter. He won't be a star of the team but he will make plays that will help the team win. Number 6. Impact of Role Players Based upon the preseason, the Lakers have some great role players that will be overlooked this season. With players like Larry Nance Jr., Lou Williams, and Nick Young coming off the bench, the Lakers will boast one of the strongest bench mobs if they can do it on a consistent basis. Nick Young is hot right now, but during the season, will he flame out and go back to his bonehead ways? These are the questions we have to ask. Number 7. Small Ball Lineup Speaking of shooters, the Lakers have a lot of shooters on their roster that play the same position. Nick Young, Lou Williams, and Jordan Clarkson. The Lakers must establish a small ball lineup in order to take advantage of their talents, similar to Golden State in which Randall or Black are the tallest players on the court. While this has been effective on the offensive end, the defensive end is still where the problem lies. Number 8. Competition With the Clippers and the Warriors still in the same division as the Lakers, the Lakers will still struggle within the division with these teams. 
but these matchups will be used as learning experiences for now. Number 9. Players Having Fun Last year's Lakers team was full of drama and players not having fun, and some of that was in part to Kobe Bryant's presence and his farewell tour. This year, everyone is excited to see what Brandon Ingram will bring to the team, and everything is new to him. D-Loading is having flashes of greatness, and Luke Walden is experimenting with lineups that will help make players happy. The whole team looks involved and locked in compared to last year. Number 10. D'Angelo Russell's Development D'Angelo Russell has had some good games in the preseason and some bad games in the preseason, but he has shown that he can quickly catch fire in the Lakers' new offense. The key will be if he can play at a high level consistently, both offensively and defensively, night in and night out versus the best guards in the league. Right now, I can see him doing great offensively, but has a lot of work to do defensively. He should lead the team in scoring and assists. Prediction, 18 points and 6 assists. And those are the 10 takeaways from the Lakers preseason. Let me know what you thought of the Lakers preseason in the comments below. Until then, it's been your boy, Johnny Walker LA, and I'm out. Bow.